When I created the video for the first time with InVideo AI, I was very disappointed with the stock video selection, and it took forever to change the videos with the AI. But now with the 2.0 version, they made improvements. Let's see how to change the video clips on a video when you create it in InVideo AI. Start by asking the AI to create the video for you. Now watch the video. If you don't like or think that a video clip is not matching, then you have a few options. The first one is just asking the AI again to change a video clip. To do it, go to the box under the video in the main editor and ask the AI to change the video. Be precise about where in the video the clip you want to change is and give the AI specific instructions on what you are looking for to change. Watch it again and see if it changes the video clips. In this demo video, I ask it to change it to a human with attention instead of the text clip. The AI changed it. Maybe it is not what I would pick myself, but I think it is interesting choice. Now let's see how you can change it yourself without the AI. Click on the edit button under the video and you are in the first tab of for editing and changing the videos. You can see that the video we changed has two layers. This is if you want to go back to what it was before at any point of the editing. Just click on the clip you want to change. And then under the video, you have a box for putting the keywords. Find from the stock video the video you want to change and you have it, that's it. If you are on the free plan or are limited to the premium stock videos, you can click on and off on the premium video and it will show you the videos that are not premium. They have some library that you can choose to use the video from. Storyblocks, Shutterstock, Pixabay, Pexel and iStock. The iStock clips are limited every month and when you reach the point that you can't use them anymore, the tool will tell you that. When you create a video, you can ask the AI not to use the iStock clips. You will see that there is a watermark on the videos. After you download them, you should not have the video clips watermarks. However, if you are on the free plan, you will have the InVideo logo watermark on your videos and the video library logo. Let's see how to ask the AI to replace the iStock video from this video. Go to the AI box under the video and ask it to replace all of the iStock video clips with a different library. But the best thing to do is to ask the AI not to use the iStock video clips at all at the beginning of creating the video from the video generation panel. When you open the option to create a new video, you have the option to tell the AI if you want to use the iStock clips or avoid them. If you want to know how many iStock video clips and images you can use, then click on the right side menu and find the usage option. There you can see exactly how many iStock videos you used this month. Also, when you export the video, you will have this information. You can also upload a video clip. If you want to upload a video clip, click on upload and you need to make sure it is not more than two gigabytes. But from my experience, it should be even less because the upload is not fast enough and can get stuck if you upload a big video. After you upload media to your video, you can see it in the upload section, but you can also find it in the media library. Click on the menu icon on the left side, then click on media library. Theoretically, you can do a few things here, but for me, it didn't work when I tried. You can create new folder, but you can't change the folder after you create them. At least I couldn't do that. To create a new folder, you can click on the button and give it a name. If you have media, you can add it to the folder. Click on the media you want to move to a folder, then click on the plus button on the top to choose which folder this media should go in. Here you can also create a folder. I wish they would add the option to delete folders too. And if they could add an option to watch the video from the library, it would be helpful because you don't always know what the video is about just from the image. Let's get back to the video clip editor. When you click on the video clip, you have a box with some options. Here you can customize the length of the video if you want a shorter clip. You can also change the center of the video. If this video is vertical and you don't see the main idea of the video, you can change the center point and it will show a different part of the image from the video. The customization is between zero to one. Under the video clips, you have the text from the clip and the sentence that is on this clip is marked in bold. You also have the information about which chapter this part of the video is from. 
So if you want to make any changes in this text, you know exactly where to find it. If you want to make a media clip longer, do this. Go to the script editor. Now find the scene where you want the video to continue from the last scene. Click on the media and then you have a trash icon. Click on it and apply changes. When you go back to edit the clip, you can see that now the previous video clip is longer and extend into the next scene. If you want to make it shorter, then change the duration. After you apply the changes, the next video clip will be longer to fill the gap. If you want a sentence to be black and show only the words, you need to separate that clip into a new chapter by duplicating the chapter and deleting the sentences from both chapters to make it separate text. Now delete all of the media. After you apply changes, you will see black screen with only the words on it. If you want to add a clip to a black screen, click on the plus button and you can add media. Now add a keyword so in video AI will know what kind of video clip to put in this media part. If you want to have a shorter video clip, you need to split the text. In the last video where I showed how to split the chapter, I showed a different way to split the text, but I found another way to do it in the help section. Click on the sentence you want to split, then click shift and enter, and it will split the sentence. Similarly, if you want to merge the scenes, click shift and backspace. If you want to change the video from vertical to horizontal or the opposite, you need to ask the AI to do it for you. You do it in the box under the video. In this demo video, it was really fast, but I don't know if that's because this video is only 30 seconds long or because they improved the time that the AI generate everything. If you want to know more about how to change the background music, then click on this video next. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.